Hi, this is Tim Andrews, President and Chief Executive Officer of ASI. I'm at the second day of exhibitions at the ASI New York show, and I wanted to share with you just a couple of things that I thought were interesting I found on the show floor today. Uh, first of all, this is from Auto International, AutoCap. Uh, they do all sorts of headwear. They're ASI 75350, ASI 75350. And what's unique about what I saw today, well this is, they have both a, a structured cap but also an unstructured cap. And the cool thing about this is, of course every cap provides some level of UV protection. So if you're wearing it on your head, uh, you have some protection from the sun. You know, you're out golfing, you're in a fishing uh, you know, boat, maybe you're going out fishing, maybe you're out on the beach, you're just sort of hanging out, whatever you're doing. You know, we often remember to you know, hit ourselves with some suntan lotion on our legs and our arms and our uh, you know, face, but you know, we also forget about the top of our head. So what they've done is they have actually constructed these caps to now have UV protection of about 50 plus inside the cap. These are 100% cotton caps, one size fits most, uh, again, they have an unstructured version and also a very structured version. They can literally do imprinting in almost any kind of methodology you want. They can do some screen printing, they can do embroidery, whatever you know, works for what you need. But I thought this is a really unique way to have a product that's going to provide that extra level of protection that you need when you're out in the sun a lot. You know, you're going to be out all day on a golf course or something and your clients are talking about you know, protecting themselves. It's really important that you have the protection you can get from, from the typical kind of uh, sun protection but also things on the top of your head. So I'm going to share that again from AutoCap, Auto International Inc., ASI 75350. Thanks very much for tuning in.